Hello and welcome to 1000 Verses Bible Quiz Channel. Today we have carefully chosen and organized 15 challenging questions to test how well you know the Bible. Before you start the quiz, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss our next episode. Give your comment about the quiz and how you've scored in the comment section below. Are you ready? Let's get started. Question 1. How many churches of Asia Minor were there? 4 7 11 12 The answer is 7 Revelation chapter 1 verses 4 to 5 John, to the seven churches in the province of Asia, grace and peace to you from him who is, and who was, and who is to come, and from the seven spirits before his throne, and from Jesus Christ, who is the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth. Question 2. Which of these is not one of the churches of Asia Minor? Ephesus. Miletus, Philadelphia, Thyatira. The answer is Miletus, Revelation chapter 1, verses 10 to 11. On the Lord's day, I was in the Spirit, and I heard behind me a loud voice like a trumpet, which said, Write on a scroll what you see, and send it to the seven churches, to Ephesus, Smyrna, Pergamum, Thyatira, Sardis, Philadelphia, and Laodicea. Question 3. On what island was John when he was given the vision of Revelation? Patmos Rhodes Samos Cyprus The answer is Patmos. Revelation, chapter 1, verse 9. I, John, your brother and companion, in the suffering and kingdom, and patient endurance that are ours in Jesus, was on the island of Patmos because of the word of God and the testimony of Jesus. Question 4. Which one of these is not a title of Jesus Christ? Emmanuel Light of the World Holy One of Israel Prince of Peace The answer is Holy One of Israel Holy One of Israel is not a title specifically attributed to Jesus Christ in the New Testament. While it does refer to God in the Old Testament, particularly in the prophetic books, it is not one of the titles associated with Jesus in the New Testament. Question 5. In the New Jerusalem described in Revelation, what are the twelve gates made from? Gold. Pearl. Bronze. Glass. The answer is Pearl. Revelation, chapter 21, verse 21. The twelve gates were twelve pearls, each gate made of a single pearl. The great street of the city was of gold, as pure as transparent glass. Question 6. What was the name of the angel who visited Zechariah? Cassiel Michael Seraphiel Gabriel The answer is Gabriel Luke chapter 1 verses 18 to 19 Zechariah asked the angel, 
How can I be sure of this? I am an old man, and my wife is well along in years. The angel said to him, I am Gabriel. I stand in the presence of God, and I have been sent to speak to you and to tell you this good news. Question 7. Who had been told by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ? Simeon Herod Peter John the Baptist The answer is Simeon Luke chapter 2 verses 25 to 26. There was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon, who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. Question 8. Who did Christ raise in the town of Nain? Peter's mother-in-law, Jairus's daughter, Lazarus, widow's son. The answer is widow's son. Luke chapter 7, verses 11 to 17. Jesus went to a town called Nain. A dead person was being carried out, the only son of his mother, and she was a widow. Then he went up and touched the bier they were carrying him on. He said, Young man, I say to you, get up. The dead man sat up and began to talk. Question 9. With which parable did Jesus respond when asked by the lawyer, Who is my neighbor? Ten virgins. Sour. Workers in the Vineyard Good Samaritan The answer is Good Samaritan Luke chapter 10, verses 29 to 37 When asked by the lawyer, Who is my neighbor? Jesus responded with the parable of the Good Samaritan. In this parable, Jesus illustrates the concept of loving one's neighbor through a Samaritan who showed compassion and assistance to a man who had been beaten and left for dead on the side of the road. Question 10. How many loaves did Christ mention when he spoke about a hungry friend arriving at midnight? One. Two, three, four. The answer is three. Luke chapter 11, verses 5 to 6. Then Jesus said to them, Suppose you have a friend, and you go to him at midnight and say, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me, and I have no food to offer him. Question 11. Eat, drink, and be merry is a reference from which parable? Rich fool. Prodigal son. Great banquet. Wedding feast. The answer is Rich Fool. Luke chapter 12, verses 13 to 21. Eat, drink, and be merry originates from the parable of the rich fool. In this parable, Jesus tells the story of a rich man. The parable serves as a warning against greed and the pursuit of material possessions at the expense of spiritual matters. Question 12. Who was Jesus referring to when he said, Go and tell that fox? Herod Augustus Annas Pilate The answer is Herod. 
Luke chapter 13, verses 31 to 32. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and said to him, Leave this place and go somewhere else. Herod wants to kill you. He replied, Go tell that fox, I will keep on driving out demons and healing people today and tomorrow, and on the third day I will reach my goal. Question 13. What does Jesus say is of no use if it has lost its taste? 11. Wormwood. Salt. Wine. The answer is salt. Luke chapter 14, verses 34 to 35. Jesus uses salt as a metaphor to describe the influence and impact that his followers, the disciples, should have on the world. If believers fail to live according to the principles of their faith, they lose their effectiveness in fulfilling this role, much like salt that has lost its saltiness. Question 14. In the parable of the lost sheep, how does the shepherd bring the found sheep home? on a rope, follows it home, on his shoulders, in a cart. The answer is, on his shoulders. Luke chapter 15, verses 3 to 5. Jesus told them this parable. Suppose one of you has a hundred sheep and loses one of them. Doesn't he leave the ninety-nine in the open country and go after the lost sheep until he finds it? And when he finds it, he joyfully puts it on his shoulders and goes home. Question 15. How many silver coins did the woman have in the parable of the lost coin? 5. 10. 12. 100. The answer is 10. Luke chapter 15, verses 8 to 9. Suppose a woman has ten silver coins and loses one. Doesn't she light a lamp, sweep the house, and search carefully until she finds it? And when she finds it, she calls her friends and neighbors together and says, Rejoice with me, I have found my lost coin. Congratulations, you did it. You completed our Bible quiz. If you enjoyed the This Bible Quiz, give it thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this. Don't forget to share what you've learned about God's Word with family and friends.